Hey guys, so I today flashed AOS IP 8.1 on Eureka Eureka Plus. Now today we are just going to test it. And I'm going to show you what are the features, bugs, and how does it perform, and how does the interface feels. So actually we are just going to start from the home screen, and how does it look like? So as you can see, the settings is uh, there with small phones, and I will show you the settings about phone. And there you can see it is on latest 8.1 Red Oreo. So I'm just going to show you how does it look. So going into the notification panel, it is also there with small icons. Let me just get a focus. As you can see, there are small icons on it. Talking about the home screen interface, the Google uh, search bar is in the bottom side, as you can see, and uh, it, uh, there is nothing on the left side, and as you can see. And now it is, you can see the, the animation is uh, likely there uh, as, as it is on Android Oreo. And now I'm going to show you how does the notification panel is. As you can see, the Wi-Fi and stuff. Then click on the pencil and now you can add it by just dragging it uh, on the upper side so what you need to do is just click on the uh, uh, thing which you need and just uh, drag it on the upper side and as you can see i just showed the interface the widget settings as you can see down below so i'm just going to show the widgets and i'm going to show the settings so as you can see, these are the settings uh, which you can, you can uh, uh, use about in the home screen menu. And now, the, we are just going to I'm going to show you how the time to do benchmark is on this U Eureka. So basically, uh, I tried to do enter the benchmark two times because on the first uh, time it failed, and I'm going to do it again. And I actually installed it again. And now it is very very the resources, and uh, it is going to show you how does the performance is. I uh, expect the score of around 30 to 35,000 normally uh, on uh, Snapdragon 615. As you can see, the score we got after the test was 38,916. So it's uh, basically fine uh, for a budget uh, mid-range phone, which is uh, around been uh, to, uh, which was made around two years before uh, with Snapdragon 615. So now we are just going to talk about the features which this AOS IP has in it. So now talking about the status bar where you can uh, actually just edit the anything on the status bar like uh, the network indicators, the Wi-Fi, battery, the time as you can see the clock and the traffic indicators as I shown you they're uh, showing up in the status bar. You can go to the quick settings uh, about the panels, the size of the panels, the way they are displayed and you can change that up in the quick settings. So now we are just going to the notifications, how the notification notification will appear, the battery LEDs, the type of notification, uh, you can also include a kill app button on the side in the notification bar. And now going about the navigation, so actually we are have here uh, backlit LEDs, so we don't need it, but if you want to use a navigation bar, the feature is also available. Now talking about hardware button features, so, so they are the, these are the power main options, uh, then the lock screen buttons and the volume buttons. So I just turned on the advanced reboot button and the screenshot and the airplane mode which you can use uh, along with your power button. Now this is the lock, uh, on the lock screen options, uh, same power button but when, when you are on the lock screen and uh, there are also volume buttons. So the, these are the features you can use with your volume button as you can see here though. and now we are just going over the reasons. So this is uh, where you can edit how the reasons menu will look, uh, you can also include a kill air button right there. Now talking about the lock screen, uh, as I said, uh, there, there's not much uh, editing uh, or features included in the lock screen options, but you can also include the widgets and kind of stuff uh, in the charging info if you want to have in the lock screen. Now, go, uh, go, oh, okay. Now going about the gestures, so, so there is a three finger gesture for the screenshot and the brightness control thing. So as you can see, I just got a uh, three finger screenshot. So there are some other options which you would uh, work on. So now there are some advanced. So these are the settings uh, which are, I was not on, uh, working on because I was just using this home for a day. So if you want to go through these uh, settings and features, if you want to, these are normally features which uh, normally people don't go through. I'm going to show you the about phone thing. As you can see, running 8.1, it is the 29.8, so it is the uh, 29 app um, date of the 8th month uh, in 2018. As you can see, it is on the, it was the latest build right there. So this one is a uh, normal build uh, in which actually even Volti, Geo Volti also works. So as I showed you right there, how this works. now I'm going to show you how the performance is. I'm going to open all the apps on the home screen. I'm going to show you how fast does they open. So as you can see, uh, Play Store, Phone, Gallery, everything uh, right now is going to is opening well. As you can see, they're fast and fluid. Uh, even after opening all of them, I'm going to show I'm going to show you how does the multitasking works. As you can see. 
uh, every single application right now is working well uh, and uh, uh, including uh, even including the settings button and kind of stuff uh, it is working well so as you can see it's great it is fluid and i'm going to show you the how the multi how is the multitasking so i'm going just going to open all the applications in between so i'm going to open settings uh, gallery you know uh, messaging uh, play store and stuff as you can see none of them are reloading and uh, there's also a kill app button included uh, down below you can use to just kill all the apps uh, in together so this was uh, as you can see multitasking is very fine on this phone now actually we are just going to talk about so now we are just going to talk about how how many bugs does this phone have so right now actually i can't say how many bugs this phone actually have your lte was working well wi-fi bluetooth uh, hotspot is working also well uh, i have been using this uh, rom for around, around a day and a half so i don't know how much uh, things i uh, heard doesn't work so as you can see uh, i just told you uh, everything likely is working well it's a stable rom uh, even with lte the wi-fi is working well as you can see uh, the battery uh, life was around uh, three to four hours in between, and four hours for the medium usage is well uh, fine for a uh, uh, phone which is around uh, been uh, you, you you have been likely using for two years. So uh, I just got this phone for a temporary temporary usage. So I just uh, wanted to show you how does uh, AOS IP ROM would work on this phone because I think so. This is a very good uh, stable ROM which uh, if you want to flash on your phone, uh, maybe a good choice. And uh, so likely this is uh, the end of the review uh, which I where I wanted to show you the, how does AOS IP ROM uh, works on your Eure Eureka and uh, I think so it works well it's fine and now we are just going to get into the boot animation so this is where I'm just going to show you how the boot animation on AOS IP uh, ROM is I didn't have any regrets using this AOS IP ROM and uh, I think so you may wouldn't have also so I'm going to uh, link uh, this AOS IP ROM in the description below if you want to download it. Even the booting time is very, uh, is very less. Uh, so as you can see, I just booted uh, it uh, immediately boots up. Uh, this is the OWL uh, logo which AOS IP has been using you know, for a good long time uh, from the start. So now if you want to ask any questions about how does, uh, does the ROM work, for day to day usage uh, what are the bugs i actually told you everything in my video and uh, if you want to check it out please do check the whole video out now if you want to see how uh, my full review is, so actually this is the only full and uh, this, uh, the only review i have so please go subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want to watch more videos like this and please do comment down below how did you like this video and which type of videos do you want to watch next